In Ashes of Outlands, we were introduced to the Prime Legendaries, and I'm going to see if it's still possible to win with all of them. It probably isn't. I'm going to make this the case. You notice how this one has the Legendary itself and the Prime? I can use this one or this one to win me a game of Hearthstone. Up first, we had Cantharad Ebonlock, one of the better Primes because of its original form. The fact that it discounted demons for one less was honestly really good in the early game, and that's exactly what I was going to use the card for. Okay, we got him. We got him. We got him. Oh, I hope this is not like shadow walk shaman otherwise this could be miserable it is quest shaman quest shaman probably rolls me Ooh, okay that's actually really good this is a great hand kind of unfortunate why they're running that but it's it is what it is yeah i'm looking for like a demon here that's not expensive okay still tab Okay, perfect. I just need this to do enough for me so I can actually win a game after. Do they play the lackey? If they don't play the lackey here, that's fine. Dragons are okay. We do this, 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 this. If we draw like another one drop here, it's even better. Uh, not really what I needed, but okay. So it's this, this, this. All right, not the Cobalt Librarian, not the Cobalt Librarian, not the Cobalt Librarian. Pog! Okay, it's fine. It's a lot of stats for turn four. We do have Doom Guards and we have Soul Fires. We have Wicked Whispers. We have a bunch of ways to actually get cards. If they actually discounted any one of these though, it was insane. Having the extra 5-5 five, five here instead of losing the 2-1 was so important. Pretty slow turn actually. Malakazar's Imp. Okay, that's free. Kind of have to tap here, unfortunately. Oh my God, if I drew the Doom Guard, it was insane. Okay, you can trade. I have to go face. There's actually no other play than just going face here. Oh God, we're not in the worst situation here. He didn't kill Malkazar's Zinth either. This is fine. Again, not the worst thing I've ever seen. And we get to play a Doom Guard here. Flame Imp is free as well, so that's great. Soul Fire is great. Two Soul Fires? This is obviously going face, this is going face, this is going face, this is going face. All right, we always have it. It's always lethal, please. And in case you're curious, I made that rule at the beginning specifically for this prime. And that means we can move on to our next legendary Astromancer Solarian. I think a lot of people would consider this prime the best one out of all of them. If you actually are able to play Solarian Prime, it could just straight up win you a game. But because the amount of spells in Wild, this one got a little tricky. Win me the game. The game is not over. Okay, right here. Hell yeah. That's good, I think. That's good. Sure. Okay. 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 Awesome. I mean, that was a pretty good prime. That was pretty good. That was, uh, While trying to win with Solarium Prime, I noticed my first biggest problem of this challenge is the amount of time it actually takes to draw each individual Prime. It was getting a little tedious. This one's actually like, hell. I mean, it's gonna crash my game, but I kind of need to, so. Let me in. I'm in. And we drew Reno. Hell yeah. Aha. All right. Yeah, I was saving the polymorph for this. All right, now we just gotta draw the prime, right? Ooh. Actually, I don't know why I played a Connie. It's not like it makes a difference here because they can just kill it if they really want to. But this might be the prime game. Okay. I mean, that's a, <laughs> that's a, that's a wide board, dude. All right, win me the game. Playing Solarium Prime is honestly one of the most enjoyable experiences in Hearthstone, and I would highly recommend you try it out in Wild if you have the card. It just leads to absolutely crazy moments. All right, I think we won. I think that counts as Solarium Prime winning me the game, as long as they somehow can't clear the board here. I mean, no, it's still really good. It full cleared the board. It did what it had to do, right? I think his game is still blocked. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. Okay. All right. He's, we're done. Oh my After God. dropping a random Fiesta bomb on our opponent, we move on to the next prime, which is Kargath Blade Fist. Kargath was pretty great. It could fit into almost any slower warrior deck and the huge swing turns that this card could have was just game winning in itself. And I didn't think this was going to be too bad, but the way I actually won with it was absolutely ridiculous. The idea that I have for this deck is pretty much just it wins me the game by killing something. <laughs> is Kargath or Anixia my only two rush minions in the deck? This looks like it's a slower warrior. 
Warlock deck. Because we're going against Warlock, they can actually outdraw me, which is like my win condition, I guess. Like I just make them go into fatigue. Because what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play Cargath here, trade in, and then copy it so I get another Cargath. And that's uh, pretty good. And I have two Cargath Primes. And two Cargath Primes are double the Primes. Uh huh. You guys see that? Did you guys see that RNG? Are you kidding me? I mean, if he has a board clear, I'm I'm molding, but like, uh, huh? <laughs> okay. I mean, we take him. I don't know what that guy was doing, but I mean, after getting a pretty ridiculous win with Kargath, we move on to the next legendary, which is Zixor Apex Predator. Just like Kargath, this prime fit into a bunch of different decks and was just a pretty great card overall. But I had a fantastic idea on how to win with him. Okay, so yeah, like my game plan here is to it's to discount either the Tundra Rhino or the Zixor with the Harpoon Gun. After we do that, we draw the other one with Hemet, and then we just hit face. All right, this might be Big Priest. If it's Big Priest, we just cry. I think crying is pretty great this time of year, actually. Zixor's actually done four damage already, so that's pretty sick. Four damage? I count that a win for Zixor. And the fun is now gone. And what the hell's that? <laughs> I mean, I'm just going to say it. We're going for an OTK here, but it's actually very likely that this might just win me the game, depending on what they have, of course. And I'm dying. And I hate this so much. People go out of their way to play this. I just want everyone to be aware of this. Do I just concede? Yeah. So once again, we're looking for... Okay, so it's another Renafell deck. This might be Shutterwalk. Shutterwalk, again, is really hard. Get okay, Wappletinger. I'll take Starving Buzzard here, or I'm going to take... Not really what I want, but what we're going to get. Bright side is that they don't really have a lot. I mean, I don't really have a lot of tools, to be honest with you, but at least I can go Coin to Tavish, which actually might be really re relevant. We could also go Harpoon Gun and see what's at the bottom of my deck again, but I don't think that's very relevant. It's unfortunate that I haven't... Oh. Oh, you're going to regret that, you big idiot. Because now we can do this. This shuffles, which means that my deck should... This is shuffle, right? Is that shuffle? Skull go away? Yes. Okay. So that means that my deck is shuffled, which means the bottom of my deck should be different. That's the money shot, guys. That's what we're going for. Zixor is eight mana. It goes down to five. Tundra Rhino will be two mana, which means it goes down to... So the whole combo right now is at seven. I mean, tactically speaking, for after this one, we could just go for it. I'm going to do this 16 plus two is the Tundra Rhino. So it's 18. If we get one Timberwolf, that's five damage plus the Timberwolf itself. So it's 25 with the Timberwolf. If we get two Timberwolves, it's lethal. We... Thanks. Oh, that's the opposite of good. All right, you can't play that. You can't play it. Hold on. So it's this. I just got to win with Zixor, right? So this. After doing a beastly wombo combo on my opponent, we move on to the next legendary, which is Lady Vosh. Now in standard, she didn't do a lot. She was often just too slow, but she did have the potential to do wombo combo your opponent. So with the amount of powerful spells in wild, I didn't think this was going to be as bad. Synergy with the quest, I don't expect this one to be too bad. I think I could be coping out of my mind if I'm being honest here, but Mage is actually a little bit annoying. The problem with Mage is that Mage can have Ice Block. Nice! Huge card, actually, but I'm going to do this first. Then I'm going to get the benefit of this as well. Bloom is great. I don't have any Elementals in my deck. All right, we don't need Elementals. Okay, they're doing nothing. That's good. I do need to actually draw cards from my Vosh, which is a little bit interesting. So we need to draw her sooner than later. I'm going to put a Witchwood Piper in the deck. No, because then I have Dungeon No Taker. Not super happy with this, but all right, we'll need to get the quest finished in order for my OTK to actually go off. So next turn we have to play this. Let's just draw it. Nice. That's actually even better, dude. Okay, this is actually so good. No, I was, I was thinking about like, do I just send damage at their face? But I don't think it's really worth it. This is good. Wow, this uh 
you kind of popped off dude so i am gonna trade here i'm gonna play loki for poke help for sure i will play a frost bolt on here so they're delayed on their next spell we go all face next turn we get vosh for sure and then we just murder them because we're gonna draw three spells right i forget what this card actually does draw three spells reduce their cost by three so it's actually just might be lethal we're obviously playing this that's actually okay um it's 11 it's four three i could do this again just pass oh i went for the frostbite to make their next spell like more expensive and then they're like psych we have a caligus it's okay just because of the fact that we have a lot of burn from hand right wasn't it lethal it might have been depending on what crackle would have given me and knowing my luck crackle wouldn't have done anything i mean this is lethal so I'm gonna have to buy some packs here, chat. After giving some money to Blizzard, we move on to our next prime, Magur Magurgle. Now this legendary was pretty great. It fit into a bunch of different Paladin decks. It had a pretty great prime. And honestly, the base unit was really good as well. And the way I won with this might be a little underwhelming, but I thought it was fine. So we go Yogg, a Weblord, Coin Call to Arms, Ope We Jaw the Magurgle, win the game, move to the next prime. We just paid $40 to get this legendary to play it one game and then move on help me please listen to me angel pull it give it to me it's okay i'm not upset all right i'm gonna concede by the way because i'm just okay i actually can't play the game by the way he actually, he actually like, can't play the game the longer he cannot play the game the better i need at least one spot on the board cobalt scalebane in my oh there he is all right our google prime is in the building oh another oh my yog that i can't play all right mcgurgle did two damage i think we won i think he won us the game well, watch me lose this game oh my god and nine minute two eight rebuke oh my god this guy actually can't play the game tech wait Look, but Gurgle Prime won me the game, chat. <laughs> Technically speaking, we couldn't win the game without it. We needed the two damage. I guess you guys get upset because apparently I didn't do it the way you guys wanted me to. Do you guys understand what I mean? It's not like I did anything wrong. It's just more like you guys didn't like the way it ended up working. So therefore it's wrong, I guess. You know what I mean? Is it really my problem or your problem? It's been a long morning. All right, let me put it like this. It's been a long morning, okay? I have had to deal with chat's nonsense telling me that McGurgle Prime didn't actually win me the game when clearly it did. I'm going against Bulk Up Warrior now. Are you happy now, chat? Is this what you guys want to see? Bulk Up Warrior, here we go. Holy poggers. Oh God, that's the scariest thing I've ever seen in my life. Okay, uh, we're going prime. Well, unfortunately he can play a second one of these and that it actually does cause me some problems. Did this one count? I know some of you might be disappointed with how I won with McGurgle, but honestly, this challenge has been really tedious. So I was kind of happy just to get one out of the way because we're moving on to our next legendary, Akama. And for those of you who know Akama, he was not super great. The prime version was actually really bad. You never really wanted to shuffle it into your deck. So I was hoping the base version of Akama would pull through with the victory. And I think it did a pretty great job. I see you, bro. Ah, I see you, bro. Dude two secret passages in the opening hand for an aggressive deck no i just want comma in my opening hand is that too much to ask apparently it is can we get a comma we're going against renathal that's not a comma and while we wait for my warlock opponent to do something you're gonna try to get the boot what do you guys think about a stream where we get on this map and we just play the whole time we get on this map and we just try to get the boot the whole time what do you guys think about <gasps> we got one <gasps> Holy that draw off the top. All right, commas on the board chat. While a commas doing a comma things, we're back to finding more boots. I just played this card. Oh my God, who is this? These draws at, oh, it's unfortunate. Ooh. Okay, comma hit. He did three damage total. He's also just very scary on board. Look at this freak. You wouldn't want to go near him. And back to the boots. Oh my God, I attack. Okay. Kama has done 10 damage and he's a freak. That's racist. I did not mention a race whatsoever. How is it racist? I'm not playing against that. Kama, Kama, a Kama. I'll take it. Oh, I'm so in, dude. All right, we're gonna go coin into Secret Passage and we're gonna win. I was waiting for the pop off there. No, I don't want this one. I forgot she's in the deck. Everyone say goodbye to Lillian after this game. 
just what I needed to do absolutely nothing while I sit around and twiddle my thumbs. Did this thing die? Hail to the yeah, dude. We have the shoot. That's all right, cool, Dan. No problems, buddy. So we play this next turn. We get two Akamas in the deck, and then that's it. Oh, wait, this is actually a really spicy play. All right, all right, all right. Thanks. Probably use this before it's too late. Actually, I should have shot us at this. Oh my God, how much damage is this? Okay, so it's eight, it's eight, 11, 14, 14 damage. I basically have to go for it though. I think I'm shadow stepping this though. I, I need the, I need like the draw, but one, two, this will be three, four. I don't care about the curse. Should have done this first actually, because if I got backstep, it changes my play. Nice. He's actually le- Uh huh. You could say that a comma doing 13 damage in one turn actually got us lethal. And I think I would agree with this handsome YouTuber that a comma did end up getting us lethal. And after giving more money to Blizzard, we could finally move on to our next prime, which is Reliquary of Souls. This one was kind of weird because it wasn't necessarily good, but it wasn't necessarily bad either. It did see some play, but overall wasn't a meta defining legendary. All right, I don't want to go against Mage, even though we drew the Witchwood Piper. Maybe, uh, you know what, whatever. We'll but yeah, basically idea of this deck is we're going to draw Reliquary of Souls, play it, kill, make sure it dies, summon it again, and bada bing, bada boom, we win a game. But uh, Devolving Missiles is going to suck. Obviously, I'm just going to do this because I need to draw this. And then hopefully we get the um, the prime of Reliquary pretty fast. It's basically the point is, is I want to play Grave Rune on it and then bada bing, bada boom. I could also just make a deck with Reliquary Soul, like Big Priest, but only with Reliquary Souls in the deck so that I just keep summoning them over and over again. Don't know if that's good. That's good for drawing. If you guys couldn't tell, that's good for drawing, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, I'm so... Oh, no, no, no. Ooh, that's good, though. That's a good card. All right, we'll do this for sure. More primes in the deck. Hold on a second. I got to think this through. We should be okay to do this again. <laughs> this max res is going to be so bad. <laughs> It's fine. I never die here, smile. Actually, the side is gonna pop off here. How many of you guys think I die if I just play this? The most damage he could do is double fireball, and it turns out I still wouldn't die to this. So I feel like it's pretty good. Now, if he has devolving missiles, I will be upset. I will not show it on stream, but I will be upset just so everyone's aware. Like, there's no way they're doing 13 damage because if they don't actually end up killing this, like, let's just say they, they, they're they looking at it. They're like, oh my God, that's fine. Not great, but it is what it is, right? At least it gets me six life back they can't actually ping it so they're upset okay or you do that i didn't die though oh my god oh i got my quest finished forgot i'm even writing the quest oh <gasps> desperate prayer hell yeah dude that guy's upset oh they're pinging xyrella that means i'm probably not dead misplays on misplays it's fine i mean i would have died last turn if he had lethal right all right, hold on. This might actually just win me the game. Oh my God, if this lives. Yes, that's fine. You can't kill it. No, who runs Flame Cannon? It's the current year. I actually didn't get one. I actually didn't get one. I actually didn't get one. I actually didn't get one, dude. Are you kidding me? Oh, Shadow or Pain coming in clutch, to be honest. Okay, okay. It's running out of burn. I never die. Nice. I'm just going to play that. I swear to God, if you devolving missiles this, dude, I'm going to be so upset. If I could get to the point where I can Grave Rune this. Oh, I mean, I'm just going to heal it and it goes to nine, but then I Grave Rune it as well. And then I just out damn it or out value his damage and I win. They're killing. All okay. right. Sheep energy. Are you going to target it? It, it, it? I'm allowed to target it on my turn. It's not. They can't turn on theirs. Ah, oh, yes. Back to 30. So foolish. No. No. No, no, no! Off the freaking ethereal car. Suck my ass, bro. It's fine. It's fine. It's game. All right, hell yeah, dude. Thank God I actually have the quest in my deck because otherwise it would have been really hard to win. Oh my God. Nice. Winning with this prime means we move on to our very last one, Arch Spore Mishfin, which again, did not see a ton of play. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't really good enough to be played anywhere. So it just kind of sat in your collection. Now, that being said, Taunt Warrior is actually pretty decent in wild. So I figured this is its time to shine. Let me explain to you how good this hand is. Not only do we got the growth, we got the... Now imagine like an explosion behind me. All right, so now we just gotta find the Arch Spore Mischiefin. Ooh. 
Oh, it's nice. Into guff, into the win. Oh, dude, it just feels so good. Oh, hell yeah, dude. What's up, man? How we doing? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing great today, good sir. You look good. All right, he's already putting in work. What the actual hell was that? We're drawing. All right, there's the Hadronox. Uh, so now we can do this. Do we play Hadronox next turn? Is the real question. I don't think so, right? Two aquatic forms. There's a good chance we actually end up drawing like Cezalee or whatever the hell her name is. Or we end up drawing Capture the Cold Tooth Mine would be sick. This is actually a really good game for uh, Taunt Druid. I want the, I want the uh, location too, actually. Really guidance. Okay, let's try this. Mishfin. <laughs> I do want the mage. It's actually so much stats. What the hell? I just hope I have enough value to actually kill this guy. We have germination too. Like, that's a spicy meatball. I need these to die. <laughs> Could you do me a solid and kill them, please? That would help me out a ton. Oh my God. Air raid's actually hella annoying. <sighs> oh, bro, I sleep, dude. We could use the Moonlight Guidance to get more Mishfins though, I guess. Yeah. Oh, I should have attacked with this first. It doesn't matter. It's actually good for me. Don't ask me what I'm doing. Don't ask me why I did that. I mean, I'm so tilted just from seeing this because he has more. Oh. Yeah, trade there. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Good trades. Good trades. I like what I saw there. Let's do this now. I guess in this case, we almost have like infinite primes. And one day, one of these days, we'll get through all the taunts. The air raids were extremely frustrating to deal with. Oh. Okay. More Mishfins. <laughs> it's fine. I don't care at all because even if you kill this, I still summon like all of these dudes. There's no winning for you, Paladin. You need Exodia at this point. <laughs> this guy's probably like, what the hell is going on? I actually genuinely feel bad. Like this has got to be so garbage to play against. All right. Well, I think it's pretty safe to say that that won us the game. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. If you ended up enjoying it, I would highly recommend subscribing as well as checking out another challenge video because you'll probably love it. And if you want to check me live on Twitch, the link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching.